What's good, family? Welcome to another video. Today, we're talking about some of my Alpine Stars gear, how it's held up after a few crashes, and how this paint is holding up. About a year and a half ago, I painted these. You know, I gotta do my custom look. Master Yoshi don't like looking like everybody else now. Now, of course, there was some skepticism when I laid this paint down. You know, people were wondering, how's this stuff gonna hold up? Now, the paint that I used was Duplicolor's vinyl and fabric paint. And I had seen videos of people using this on car seats. And I thought if it was good enough for butt cheeks, it'd be good enough for these boots. That was not the case at all. So as you can see here, we got lots of cracking and the paint just peeling up. Now I sprayed these about a year and a half ago. They started looking pretty bad after about six months. So after about six months, I cleaned off with some acetone as much of the paint I could. And then I used some Angelus leather paint on it. And this has held up much better. This paint has been on here for about 10 months and it has held up much better than this has. Both of these paint jobs have been through two different crashes. But looking at the boot, none of the white leather really touched anyway. Both paint jobs do have a lot of miles. This one cracks a little bit, but it's, it's miles and miles better than the other ones. Again, this came on after trying to clean off all of that paint. So if we started with a better base, I think this Angelus paint would have would look even better than it does now. As far as crash wise, two different accidents these have been in. One was about 70 miles an hour. The other was at about 30. So of course the 70 mile per hour crash, you would think caused more damage. And it definitely did. You know, we got some abrasion, but that's it. Just a little bit of abrasion. Nothing tore, nothing broke, just some, some scuffing. I guess this guy ate up pretty good. Construction wise, this boot is still I still trust it, you know, I'm still gonna keep rocking until I have to buy some new ones. The mechanism is still great, you know, it's been holding up well. I have no complaints with this boot whatsoever. When it is time for new boots, I probably will go up to the top of the line. These are just the Alpine Stars SMX Plus V2. Definitely have to hop on the, the, the latest and greatest. Now also, y'all saw I did my suit. This suit has been through some things too. <laughs> so actually the suit has held up pretty good in each of my crashes too none of the leather has torn this is actually kind of close this is a pretty deep scratch but it's still good this is painted as well um if you're familiar with alpine stars products they have a fluorescent red which is essentially orange so i painted over all of that fluorescent orange or red and in this instance here you know it got scuffed up bad enough to actually go all the way down to, to some of that bare leather. We actually had a hole in this after my first crash and the wife used some bonded nylon to uh, sew this back together and it held up in the next crash. I don't think my leg really touched there though. With the Duplicolor paint, it seemed to work a lot better on this suit, I guess, cause it doesn't, or it's not as stiff as a boot. So maybe it's more flexible on here for some reason. Maybe I applied it better somehow. It doesn't crack as much. It still, it still does have its cracking. Like up here, it definitely does. But I wouldn't recommend that duper color stuff. I would definitely recommend some of this Angelus. Oh, it looks much better. Overall, I don't need to touch this one up. It's still good enough for me, you yeah, know? Man, I wish I would've worn that Angelus to begin with. I don't think I'd take the time and effort to, you know, redo this one. If anything, I'm just gonna keep this suit until it's time to upgrade for some reason. Hopefully that won't be any time in no near future, knock on wood. I'm very pleased with the protection that Alpine Stars has provided so far. And I also have a Tech Air vest, which is uh, still getting repaired right now. My Tech Air 5 is in for a second repair. It costs $180 each time they repack it. So, man, already at 360. <laughs> but can't put a cost on protection, right? I'm pretty sure my first crash would prevent some broken ribs because after I came off the bike, I did a tumble. My back ended up hitting uh, the embankment. So I'm pretty sure that could have broke some ribs had I not had that, that vest on. So I'm very pleased with all the Alpine Stars gear I have. But other than that, man, that's all I got, y'all. Stay blessed. Don't be too stressed. Master Yoshi out. Peace.